so I just want to make a quick video about self-talk and stuff like this so we can say that um, you know you need to change your your whole life situation you can you need to read a lot more you need to become enlightened before you can reach happiness before you can stop being so anxious and stuff and this is kind of still what I believe to an extent um, I believe meditation and spiritual awakening whatever you want to call it is important and brilliant for living a less sufferable life and a more joyous life but I do think there is definitely merit in positive psychology stuff positive psychological stuff positive psychology stuff um, like for example just like little hacks and it is I don't know if it's positive psychology but I do think potentially like short term a neurological re rewiring potentially does have merit you know reframing stuff saying oh I used to have a binge eating disorder or I used to make myself sick or I used to snack heavily at night and then also trying to you know um, if you do break and overreach tonight when you said I used to do that just say oh well I'm gonna be I'm gonna do it because I want to do it but I'm gonna be mindful of it and I'm gonna ask why what why I'm doing this and then you're doing it you eat a bit and then you realize you might not want the rest of that cake and then you just go to bed and you might wake up feeling a bit worse it's being more mindful um, and not beating yourself up and this is what may not be coins positive psychology maybe it's just mindfulness and you know whatever other spiritual terms you want to coin it um, but I think it has merit and I and I think that's perhaps why you might have a, some very intellectual people who are depressed and stuff maybe because they don't think themselves as good enough um, they you know there might be convoluted issues pertaining to their existential uh, platform, platform, the existential platform they stand on you know and stuff like that maybe they do have clinical depression and these things like David Foster Wallace did and he committed suicide even though he was pretty you know probably very intellectual I don't know enough about him to make such a statement but I imagine he was um, but yeah I just think that there is merit in these things even like positive affirmations they don't heal they don't solve the bigger picture but I think they can help you have a better relationship with yourself and then help you understand what you want to change in your life for the better um, I'm pretty cold now I can't really think so straight but I wanted to get that thought out because if you can catch yourself giving, you, giving yourself negative self-talk if you can catch yourself giving yourself negative self-talk throughout the day then you can be aware of it and you just take note of it and just be like huh I didn't need to say that to myself and then you can reframe it and just say like tonight I did I was like oh man I, should, I want to stop at 3k but I used to be doing 50, I, I can do a 15k I did a 15k a month ago and I didn't even stop then and now I'm stopping at 3k wow this is shit then I just try to reframe that and be like wow I haven't jogged in a week and now I'm jogging that's great just getting out on the jog and I felt better immediately and if you do that throughout the day every day and you can build that up that becomes the way you see life and the way you see yourself and I believe that really does shape how we interact with people how we perceive things and that might be obvious but when you're living in your daily subjectivity that's hard to notice sometimes impossible to notice even if you're pretty self-aware um, like when I'm journaling and I'll be writing about something and I might, might be writing about how oh, I might there, there, there are too many people or uh, he is trying to make conversation with me and I didn't really want to talk to him why do people have to try to make conversation when they can see I'm busy um, that is a result of my st state of mind at that time and when I'm writing that I am literally like oh, I don't want to talk to him but then upon reflection I'm like well generally yes when I'm reading I don't want to be talking to people but in that time I can be missing empathy I can be like well he's a new person he's just arrived today where two new people arrive in the hostel today and maybe I should be maybe I, it would help me to be more welcoming um, I don't know I don't really have a firm point on that because I don't want to just say oh yeah be nice all the time and 
you know, maybe it's completely congruent for me, no matter my state of mind, to just want to continue reading, but I'm just saying it has an effect on you, you know, your state of mind and the way you frame sense impressions, the way you perceive, interpret sense impressions. That's pretty much that. Goodbye. Goodbye.